Thursday, puck time. The night the Leafs start their run. One of 16 will go tonight. The first of many. It'll be very exciting. I'm the Prez. Alex Badass Smith got out of bed today. Carmine <laughs> Bianco. Uh, how are you guys? Carm, what's going on? It, it's great. Uh, once we're done here, I'm going to head down see if I can grab a Bruin shirt for tonight's game. Really looking forward to the game tonight. I'm um, not sure. I might, my friend's got a Cam Neely jersey. I might pick that up from him just uh, to wear it. So, so yeah. one, one of our commenters, comment, commenters, one of our posters, viewers, whatever, watched yesterday, commented that uh, if the Bruins win, will I wear a Bruins jersey? And the answer is absolutely. Uh, my address is uh, 107 Pepperberry Road. Uh, just email me at prez at wagertalk.com. I'll send you uh, all the much needed info for you to mail me a Bruins jersey. Uh, ideally, put the number four on the back, uh, and we're good to go. I'll, uh, I'll happily wear a Bruins jersey. I'd like the yellow one, please. So send me the yellow one, and uh, I'm game. What are you wearing today, Alex? I just got on a Gophers jersey. They're rocking the college hockey. They got the Frozen Four going on in Buffalo as well. So plenty of uh, of hockey on the college and pro levels today. Okay, well, lots to tell you before we take apart the card. Uh, First and foremost, uh, today was a uh, hard day for me so far. Uh, I went to the eye doctor. Firstly, I can't see a damn thing right now. You put these drops in my eyes. Uh, I believe that there are probably more car accidents leaving the optometrist than any other place. Uh, I was barely able to drive, but I got home safe, uh, struggling to see... But the worst part about it is I'm told I need glasses. And perhaps it's the fact that I didn't have glasses that allowed me to start the NHL playoffs 0 and 3. Uh, yep, I had the under in Pittsburgh last night, uh, holding steady at 3 2, two minutes, less than two minutes to go, and I lose. Then I had a five unit play on Winnipeg last night. Uh, one nothing, 10 to go in the third. Uh, but they waited until the two-minute mark again, uh, and I lost. And then I had the under in San Jose last night. Yep, three goals scored in two minutes in the second period. And it still holds firm until, guess when? The last two minutes, and I lost. 0-3 uh, start to the NHL playoffs, pretty pissed off. Uh, take it very badly. Thank God we've got a lot more in store. I got two games up tonight at wagertalk.com. And now I hand it to you, Alex. How did you do yesterday? Well, I split one and one on the site. I had St. Louis in that game and was fortunate to, to get that win. And in regulation, no less. That's a, one of three games that should have gone to overtime uh, yesterday. The, really? uh, obviously, we saw Pittsburgh. Should have uh, gone. Should have so. gone to overtime. We that yeah. game was so utterly dominated by Win Winnipeg. It's ridiculous. They had four stone cold goal posts, missed breakaways. They and then yeah, after they had almost every chance in the entire game, uh, they had an open net with like thirty seconds to go, and he couldn't get the damn puck up. Uh, Pittsburgh. Uh, Winnipeg was the right side. Uh, that's my attitude. I watched the entire game. True, but and, but the thing that I put in my write-up and the thing that I've been talking about for a while is Jordan Bennington being a hot rookie goalie. You know, he made some incredible saves. You it's know, the hell about for the record too. You know, you know who was a better goalie than Jordan Billing Bennington last night? His goalposts. <laughs> and yeah, I don't well, know what know, the hell name yeah. they go under. Uh, Carm, you went is one. It, Listen, listen, listen. You went one and one last night as well. I, I, I did. Listen, you went 0 and 3. You still got your health, other than your eyeballs, things there. But other than that, you're okay. Yeah, one and one uh, under in the St. Louis game. Uh, I know you had Winnipeg. I'm kind of happy because I have futures on St. Louis that they got uh, uh, an opening night win. Three of five away teams. We discussed it on yesterday's show. Uh, Usually, game one of the seven game series, the trend has been over the last few years that if you're going to win, you got to win that first game. 
it, it gets a little easier. Maybe that bodes well for your Leafs tonight. Who knows? We'll we'll see. But one and one lost a little juice yesterday. Uh, lost with the Preds. Uh, one with the St. Louis under. Um, it's a it's a marathon, not a sprint. Uh, I don't want to make that let's sound. Let's get let's cliche. get rid of the cliches. I don't I, want to sound did, cliche, but we'll, we'll get there. If you it, did watch better. the show yeah. yesterday, I did tell well, everyone I, to bet Dallas. I did tell everyone to bet Columbus. So yeah, you viewers did a hell of a lot better than my customers. But hey, uh, like Carm says, marathon sprint cliche, blah blah blah. I went over no, three. No, no. I Listen, fell asleep. Car, you want to know the how... tail end of losing those games? You don't want to hear cliches from the people who put out the plays. Uh, I'm just saying that you know, sort of moving forward, I think collectively we're, we're going to get better. We have to get better. Well. When you go over in three, you've got to get better. But okay, you, enough I, with you. <laughs> uh, you want to know how bad I took my zero and three loss? You didn't even text me. It was fantastic. I fell asleep at five twenty-five a.m. Guys, even I fell asleep before that time. Yeah, I. I Were you watching highlights? No, dude. I was just stewing. I was absolutely stewing. Anyway, boys, let's get to it. Uh, no promos today. You're watching Puck Time, Monday to Friday, Wager Talk TV, our YouTube channel. Three games on tap, Boston, Toronto. Uh, I can't even read a damn thing right now. I can barely see anything. Uh, I know it's Rask versus Anderson. Uh, I know that Boston is minus 135. The over and under is six. Uh, I'm just going to stay away from uh, this game completely in this video. A friend of mine asked me who's going to win tonight, uh, Bruins or Leafs. And, you know, the bottom line, guys, is I'm a professional gambler and I do it uh, for a living. Uh, and I don't care about the Blue Jays. Uh, and although I cheer for the Raptors, it, I'm not going to, like, lose sleep over them getting knocked out. Uh, the Leafs are literally my only team. And I am clouded, uh, I have no objectivity, and I have no ability to pick against them. So I hand it to you, badass. Well, I mean, that's interesting because, I, you know, I'm a humongous Hawks fan, and especially even during the playoff time, I've always been able to, to read my team well and make money off of them, be it on or against. So, uh, you know, teach I their can, own. Oh, oh this... Al, Alex, let me tell you, I can read them well, and I know when to bet against them. I just can't do it. I get it. I, I get can't it. watch the tonight's why I don't game. Bet baseball. I, I cannot so. watch tonight's game and cheer for my bet on Boston. Huh. I can't do it. It's not possible. I, I completely understand. I definitely get that. And this would be a good game to watch. I mean, there's one thing you could bet on in this game, and it's the over. That's what I'm liking here. We've seen Boston's offense be, you know, more than solid over the last several games. And obviously you can't take the last 10, 15 games uh, incredibly seriously because Boston pretty much set uh, in their playoff position, but they did score three or more goals in nine of the last 10. Uh, we've seen the over also go 4-0-2 oh, at the last six meetings between these two teams in Boston, 3-1-1 one, one in the last five overall. So I like the over six here. I think we're going to see, uh, you know, we saw early goals last night in a couple of games. I think we're going to see some early goals here. So also some value with that first period over as well. Yeah. And, and I'm with you, Alex, and I, and I agree that the game is going to go over six. But, like, is Toronto going to score all seven? How can I cheer for a Boston goal? Like, I can't even cheer for Boston walking out onto the ice. Uh, so, yeah. What, what you're not doing here, and I'm going to take over now, you're not separating the two. I can't. You, it, it, but I can't. It, it, I, I mean, I, I literally, uh, yeah. I want to. Yeah. You watch the game as a fan, you have a wager as a better. I can't do it. It's the only... Things. But Carm, I'm with you with the Raptors, and I'm with you with the Jays. I'll bet against them all day long. I literally will heave when Boston scores. Well, I'm glad I'm not watching the game with you tonight. Then. But, Carm, uh, I'm having some guys listen. over tonight. Uh, I know you were going to Willie's. Uh, no, uh, you're I, welcome to I, come to my place, but don't tell Willie. No, I, I, actually, I know uh, I emailed them earlier. I know I, they don't need to know this. I, I, I'm, I'm staying in. I'm watching the game with the wife. She actually wants to watch the game as well too. She's cheering for the Leafs, so you got someone in your corner. But uh, getting back to this game, listen. Uh, in talking about not being able to bet against your team or what have you, listen. Yesterday was uh, Champions League 
game, Juventus at Ajax. Um, I I knew that Juve, even as a slight favorite... You're talking for- soccer <laughs> on the wrong damn show. <laughs> you guys just keep yelling red cards around? What the hell is this? <laughs> I actually gave them to the bar with me and I gave them, I gave them to the servers. But no, they screw up my order. He but, does. Uh, Carb literally will be like, Uber driver, you are late. Wow. But listen, I, I watched yesterday's game. We're talking soccer for a second, Juventus. I gave out the under, two and a half, and I watched the game, and I watched it as a fan uh, without even thinking about what I gave out as a total. The game finished 1-1. Clients were happy. Uh, I was somewhat happy You're with the You're a better man than is. me, Bat. You're a better man than game. me. All right, listen, about tonight's game. Yeah, get on with I it. I mentioned it. I mentioned it yesterday or on the on the preview show. Six of the last seven games between these two in Boston, the Bruins have scored 5.29 goals average in those seven games. So does that mean they're going to light up the, the Leafs? This is going to sound stupid, but I'm going to say it anyways. Tonight is a must-win game for Toronto. Because you lose tonight, and that mentality starts to sink in again. We can't beat the Bruins in Boston. I know it's only one game. It's a must-win for Troy. It doesn't mean I'm taking the Leafs. There's no way I'm not taking the Leafs. I, I like the over. I'm taking the over. Um, but Toronto has to win game one, because if they lose game one, they're going to lose game two. And they're going to go back home, down two, and they're not going to win four of the next five games to win the series. So they need a split in Boston. It starts tonight. It's a must win. I'll be texting you throughout throughout the night. And to all Boston Bruin fans, uh, let's get into what's on tap uh, video-wise today, and then we'll talk about the uh, next two games, Carolina, Washington, and Colorado and Calgary. Big day for me, five videos. Uh, Pack time as you're listening. Morning, Joe and the Pro, Teddy and Marco. Great show today. It's our NBA playoff preview show. It's going to be amazing. Uh, I'm also doing a first pitch. Really a great show yesterday with Dave Koch and had tons of viewers. Uh, Today it's with Tony Finn. Uh, He's absolutely tearing it apart in baseball right now. Uh, And then I'm doing a show uh, in Florida, not relevant to our YouTube channel, but most importantly... Today is the Game of Thrones preview show. I have a special guest. Uh, We will be taking apart Game of Thrones, and we will be doing it from a gambling style. I have the odds. And uh, guys, even if you don't watch Game of Thrones, actually, if you don't watch it, you probably shouldn't listen to the show. Uh, It'll be very confusing. Uh, And one day you should wake up, smell, have some coffee, and watch the damn thing. But that's on tap today, so make sure to check it out. What do you I want, Carl? Your favorite character, your favorite character on Game of Thrones is Bran, isn't it? Arya. No, it has to be Bran. He has no vision either. Oh. <laughs> All right. Okay. Carolina, Washington. Okay, so uh, Caps lost two. First two last year to Columbus. Uh, came back. Is it going to happen again? Carolina at plus 140 tonight. Over and under here is five and a half. And my answer is no. I think the Caps are playing good hockey right now. I mean, Carolina is obviously on a tear uh, getting into the playoffs. They've won their, their, won their last three games of the season. Uh, but I think I think the two losses to Columbus last year uh, to start the playoffs is going to bode well for Washington tonight. Uh, I like them tonight. I know the money line is minus 170. I like them in regulation, and I like the over as well. I think we're going to see uh, some goals, even with that stingy Carolina defense. Carm, what do you think? Is the money line up to, uh, like, I'm seeing uh, 141 at Pinnacle right now. Uh, I'm not sure. One, one, yeah, there's 141 at Pinnacle, uh, 170 at Sports Interaction, 152 at Bet365. If you can get 141, guys, that's the bet. Uh, I, I, I like 141. I like Washington there. Yeah, I, 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 I've got Washington. Uh, obviously, a futures on Washington. Washington, St. Louis are the two teams. I put futures wagers on at 14 to one on the Blues and 11 to one on Washington. I think Washington's going to make another 
a deep run. It's got to start with Carolina. I think, as you said, um, you know, I've got it in my notes as well, too. Losing those first two last year and then coming back, um, you know, they, they're sort of leery of that, that happening again. I'm actually looking at unders in this series. Um, it's always yeah. tough with, you know, if, if you get into like penalty trouble, a team like uh, Pittsburgh with Ovechkin is just, he's just deadly from, you know, his spot. Uh, Washington and Ovechkin. Red carded again. What did I say? Pittsburgh. I say Washington. Oh, I say Pittsburgh, not Washington. My well, eyes Washington. deceive me, but my ears are perfect. Well, when you lose one sense, the other ones are enhanced, right? Yeah. So, oh, yeah. so your taste must be uh, better as well, too. Anyways, uh, getting back to it. No, it, you know, listen, it's the caps for me. Uh, I have to believe that they're going to win tonight. Uh, lane 141, if you can get it, you, you don't want to lay a lot of juice. Uh, you want to try and avoid those, obviously. Um, in game ones, you can look at the scenarios in game two as they play out. But I'm, I'm looking at the under here as a, as a small play. Uh, badass, what do you think? I like Washington in this spot. I'm a little leery with taking the regulation line uh, at plus 110 because I wouldn't be shocked to see this would be uh, kind of a tight battle, possibly could go into OT. But I like Washington. Like I said, you guys both touched on the fact that they were down 0-2 in the first round and had to make that rally back. They want to make sure they don't have to rally back from anything. Uh, and this is a lot of Carolina team that's been solid on the road. They've won 12 of the last 17 uh, away from Carolina. But Washington's been solid at home. I think the offense is going to be uh, ready to go and, and – you know, we have these teams basically on extended rest. When the Capitals are playing on three or more days of rest, the over is 16, 4, and 1 in the last 21 spots there. Uh, so when you give Ovechkin and those guys a little bit of rest, they're going to be ready and fired up. That crowd's going to be fired up. I think we actually see some goals here. I lean with the over uh, first period in a full game. Uh, okay, boys, last game on tap. Calgary Flames hosting Colorado. Minus 205 here. And look, Colorado is going to be a pesky team in this series. Uh, I don't think they're going to be able to get it done, and I don't think they're going to win tonight. I like Calgary in regulation. Uh, the over and under is six. I like the over. I think we're going to see some goals scored, even against uh, Colorado stingy defense. Uh, and, and even taking into account the fact that Calgary's uh, offense did slow down. Uh, they only put up a one spot in their last two games, but f before that, seven, five, and six. Uh, I like Calgary and Reg, and I like over the total, Alex. I actually like this game to go to an OT, so I'm playing the draw plus 320 here. I think we're going to see, like I said, both teams are going to get their goals in, but I, I could easily see this being uh, a back-and-forth spot where it goes in the OT via 3-3 heading in there, and at that point, uh, if you have a dog ticket, that's a, a solid one to have in your pocket. But uh, I, I just think this is going to be a really tight battle. We've been talking about the questionable goaltending of Calgary all year long. Uh, I think we see Smith, and I think we see that defense kind of step up a little bit. Uh, and of course, with Grubauer as well. So uh, I'm playing the draw at plus 320. Carmine? Yeah, I I like the over as well, too. You know, last couple in Calgary, 5-3, 6-5. Um, I, you know, there's a big difference between regular season and uh, and when when you hit the playoffs, you know Flames finished first in the West. Look at what happened to Tampa, to Tampa yesterday. You can't never say never on a team beating another team. It's just uh, sometimes you take something from it. Uh, I believe the Flames uh, are obviously they're going to win this series uh, in my mind. But it's kind of like what you guys said: the Avalanche will be pesky. They're not going to roll over. They're not going to lose in four. Um, and they, and they, they have the best there. and they have and the I best said, player on the ice. Yeah, and I said before, listen. Defenses are magnified in the playoffs uh, when you have good goaltending, and I'm, I'm still worried. It, I'm still worried about this Flames goaltending with Riddick and Smith. Uh, it's obviously uh, Smith and Net, but um, I think they're starting both tonight. They're what playing happens? four. Yeah, they're yeah. playing four, four, two forwards, two defensemen, and both goalies. It's it. If you're listen, if you're if you're the Flames and you go and you lose tonight, five to two. Okay, let's just say hypothetical five to two. Do you come back with Smith in game two, or do you Smith, or or do you start playing musical goalies? And this is the problem. Other teams have a starting goalie. They they play different goalies throughout the year. This is it's the one thing that could come back to haunt the Flames. In my eyes, is the musical chairs that they play. I, I, I think we're with the gonna goalies. I think we're gonna see a good Mike Smith, guys. Uh, every show, what we're gonna do at the end of the show. <clears throat> is talk about the series is because they adjust all the time. And we spoke about this uh, on our uh, NHL preview show. I end up tending to come in 
on series betting a little later. Uh, and we've got to start right off the bat with Tampa Bay. Uh, they lost last night. Now they're down to minus 200. Uh, I ask you two questions, Alex. Uh, if they were minus 200 on Tuesday, would you have taken them? Uh, question one. And question two is, would you take them now? Uh, no and no. While I do think Tampa Bay is going to win the series, I'm just not in, in the business of trying to lay that price uh, with the series. I like looking at plus prices. I got lucky and fortunate to grab Dallas plus 160, and now that's plus 135. Uh, or, I'm sorry, minus 135, I should say. So, like I said, catching some of those spots, yes, is this the best price you're going to get? And obviously, if they lose and go down 0-2, you don't want that series price at all because uh, that's a bit of a climb for them. But uh, if you want to jump in on, on Tampa in the series, now is certainly the time to do it. Yeah, but, you know, taking into taking that into account, you know, assuming in Carmine uh, is adamant that Tampa Bay will win the next, tomorrow night, uh, assuming they do, that minus 200 is back to minus 350. Uh, you still have a double hedge uh, opportunity in front of you. Uh, right. Even though the minus two hundred is a large number, uh, you're gonna get you're gonna get a hedge opportunity uh, if they win uh, tomorrow night, and we all expect them to. Uh, Carm, any any thoughts on taking Tampa Bay now at minus two hundred? I, I would. Uh, I wouldn't. I, like I said, I don't think they lose uh, t uh, tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's game. You take them now. If they win, if if you're not going to take them now, you can't take them at all because if they win tomorrow night, yeah. they go up to like 340, 380, yeah. what have you, something like that, right? So, um, and it's the same uh, the same way with uh, Columbus. If you're going to take Columbus, don't take them now. No, of if, course. If they lose tomorrow, they're going to go from plus 170 to probably plus 280, right? So if you think, hey, we got to split, we're going home. I, I, I like Columbus to win this series. Wait till, wait till after tomorrow's game. Uh, New York Islanders, uh, look, they played really well last night. They they dominated that game. And I mean, my God, the first 10 minutes, they were all over Pittsburgh. And now you have Pittsburgh as a dog at plus 120. Uh, and you also have Winnipeg at plus 175. Uh, any thoughts on either of those two series prices? Alex? Well, I missed the boat on St. Louis. I should have played that one uh, before game one. And now he said, just no way I'm going to be laying the price now. I could have been getting plus price. As far as uh, Pittsburgh and the Islanders go, I think that's, like I said, I thought that was going to be a tight series all the way through. Uh, if I, like I said, if you like Pittsburgh, this is a good time to get them because I think they're going to win the next game. But uh, I'm not going to be jumping in on, on that one at all. I think that's going to go back and forth all the way down the sudden game. Mr. Bianco? If I was... Um... Obviously, I'm on the right side of both of those. If if uh, if my bets were substantially higher, um, you know, I have a few hundred dollars on uh, St. Louis, as I mentioned, and on the Islanders, as I mentioned, the Islanders got at, my, at plus 132. Um, you got Pittsburgh now at plus 120. I could very well hedge that out, but you know, you you have to have thousands on it as opposed to hundreds in order to to guarantee yourself. Uh, a little profit, and the same with the Blues. I got them at minus 122, and now Winnipeg is is Winnipeg's like plus 175. So I, I could protect my initial wager and, uh, and and make a little coin, but I'm sticking with St. Louis for now because they very well could win game two. They're just they're just that type of team. They play that workman type game. They could win the game tomorrow, or uh, uh, if it's on Saturday, I'm not really sure when when they're playing game two. They could easily win and, and return home to, to St. Louis up 2-0, two, two which is, uh, you could look at it as a surprise, or if they're up 2 nothing games to nothing, you could say to yourselves, you know what, Winnipeg limped into the playoffs. They just haven't been playing well. It's You can make excuses either way, but uh, I'm sticking with my original wagers. Uh, I'm taking Tampa Bay minus the 200. Uh, I put myself in a great hedge spot there. And I'm actually going to take a little bit more uh, on Tampa Bay, uh, so it won't be an even hedge. Uh, and I like Winnipeg here at plus 175. Uh, Vegas Golden Knights, uh, look, they looked completely outmatched last night from start to finish. Yeah. Uh, but we've seen this story before, guys. I mean, these two teams flip-flop every single game. Uh, now they're at plus 160. Uh, on the series and you know I came into the series thinking that they would win it 
It's tough to think that way after last night's game. That was the most lopsided game uh, on the board last night. I mean, they just couldn't do a thing. Uh, I don't know what to do here. I'm just I'm probably going to lay off of this series price right now, Alex. Yeah, I would lay off of it as well. I was on Vegas last night, unfortunately. Like I said, they just uh, were completely outmatched, they completely outmanned, did not play uh, their game, got frustrated. And then in the third period, for whatever reason, they just started reverting back to the 90s, started dumping and chasing uh, and really not getting much of anything done in the offensive zone in that, that third period. They had some chances, uh, missed a couple of uh, wide-open nets. But like I said, now – uh, this is a Sharks team that finally woke up. I mean, they've been sleepwalking literally the last two weeks of the year, uh, and now here they are in the second season. They've got things kind of rolling. So, getting a, if they get solid uh, saves from Jones, that's the one question mark we really have with San Jose. Uh, then, yeah, this could you know easily be uh, a shorter series than expected. But I'm not going to be touching this one. And one thing I do want to point out is definitely shop around. Uh, for series prices because yes. Fred, the ones you just mentioned at, at Bet Online, Tampa is minus one ninety, and you can get uh, Winnipeg plus one ninety five. So definitely want to shop around with some of those prices uh, on these series. Well said, guys. Great show. Enjoy tonight. Nobody bother me between seven and third period overtime. Uh, it's going to be a fun night, that's for sure. It's going to be a fun ride, man. Uh, you know, I was telling the Flying V. Uh, it's the only sport, this and NFL are the only two sports where if I don't have an interest as a fan I, or even a bet on a particular game, I still watch it. Uh, it's just, it's such good freaking hockey. Uh, anyway, boys, we'll see you, you both. Have, uh, one last thing. You, you have an advantage tonight. Um, the Richmond Hill Cineplex at 8.30 is showing endgame, so... The Leafs are probably out of it by what? Mid second. Endgame comes <laughs> out tonight, and, and you can catch a movie. Endgame comes out tonight. No, I was actually just making a joke, but uh, about the Leafs being out of it by midway through the second period. But <laughs> <laughs> that's puck time. See you boys tomorrow. Thanks for watching, everyone, and enjoy the, the games tonight. Later, y'all.